I'm going to be reading My Lucky Day. One day, a hungry fox was preparing to hunt for his dinner. As he polished his claws, he was startled by a knock at the door. Hey, rabbit, someone called outside. Are you home? Rabbit, thought the fox. If there were any rabbits in here, I'd have eaten them for breakfast. So he looks a little confused right now. And who's knocking on the door looking for rabbits? Oh. <laughs> when the fox opened the door, there stood a delicious looking piglet. Oh no, screamed the piglet. Oh yes, cried the fox. You come to the right place. He grabbed the piglet and hauled him inside. So right now, the piglet's looking a little bit nervous because foxes love to eat little piglets. This must be my lucky day, the fox shouted. How often does dinner come knocking on the door? The piglet kicked and squealed, let me go, let me go. Sorry, pal, said the fox. This isn't just any dinner, it's a pig roast, my favorite. Now get into this roasting pan. It was a useless to struggle. All right, sighed the piglet, I will. But there is just one thing. What, growled the fox. Well, I am a pig, you know. I'm filthy. Shouldn't you wash me first? Just a thought, Mr. Fox. Hmm, the fox said to himself, he is filthy. So he's thinking maybe he should wash that little piglet before he eats them all up. So the fox got busy. He collected twigs, he made a fire, he carried in the water. And finally, he gave the piglet a nice bath. You're a terrific scrubber, said the piglet. And now he looks like he's ready to eat that little piglet now that he's all cleaned up. There, said the fox. Now you're the cleanest piglet in the country, or in the county. You stay still now. All right, sighed the piglet. I, I will, but... But what? growled the fox. Well, I am a very small piglet, you know. Shouldn't you fat me up and get more meat? Just a thought, Mr. Fox. Hmm, the fox said to himself. He is on the small side. So now he wants the piglet to become even bigger. He's going to fatten him up by feeding him lots of food. So the fox got busy. He picked tomatoes. He made spaghetti. He baked cookies. And finally gave the piglet a nice dinner. You're a terrific cook, said the piglet. So if you see right now, the piglet looks like he's kind of enjoying all this delicious food the fox is making. And the fox looks like he's a little bit annoyed because he just wants to eat that little piglet up. But the piglet's making him do a lot of things. So now he looks ready to go. There, said the fox. Now you're the fattest piglet in the county, so get into the oven. All right, sighed the piglet. I will, but... What, 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 shouted the fox. Well, I am a hard-working pig, you know. My meat is awfully tough. Shouldn't you massage me first to make a more tender roast? Just a thought, Mr. Fox. Hmm, said the fox to himself. I do prefer tender meat. So the piglet looks like he's getting another idea. So the fox got busy. He pushed and he pulled. 
He squeezed and he pounded the piglet from head to toe. You've got a terrific massage, said the piglet. So you see the piglet's now relaxing with all this massaging. And the fox again looks pretty annoyed. But, the piglet continued, I've been working really hard lately. My back is awfully stiff. Could you push a bit harder, Mr. Fox? A little to the right, please. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Now a little to the left. <laughs> and the fox is looking a little tired given all these massages. Uh, Mr. Fox, are you there? Oh, and something happened to Mr. Fox. But the piglet looks awfully cozy. And now piglet's looking for what happened. But Mr. Fox was no longer listening. He had passed out, exhausted. He couldn't lift a finger, let alone a roasting pan. Poor Mr. Fox, sighed the piglet. He's had a busy day. Then the cleanest, fattest, and softest piglet in the county picked up the rest of his cookies and headed for home. What a bath, what a dinner, what a massage, cried the piglet. This must be my lucky day. When he got home, the piglet relaxed before a warm fire. Let's see, he wondered, looking at his address book. Who shall I visit next? And if you look there, when you look close, he's already went to the fox's house. He went to the coyote's house. Now he has the bear and he can cross off the wolf when he gets there next. So he actually had that plan the whole time to get all that free stuff. And then he was able to escape at the very end. And then you see, He's at Bear's house next. The end. So I hope you boys and girls really liked that book. I thought it was a little bit silly and a little bit different than the usual wolf in The Three Little Pigs. This is about a fox with a little piggy. So I thought it was kind of fun. All right, my friends, have a great week of reading and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.